Okay, so I'm going to have to start from the beginning. K. Michelle from Love & Hip Hop went on The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God, DJ Envy, and Angela Yee. She got into an argument with Angela Yee on the show. This was months ago. Let me see. So recently, Angela Yee, the radio show host, went on the talk show The Real, and they were trying to figure out who it was that she got into a fight with at the radio station, you know, because it got pretty bad, and not a physical fight, just like an argument or whatever. And the comedian Lonnie Anderson, who happens to be one of the interviewers from The View, was trying to figure out who it was that Angela Yee got into with it. She was like, oh, you know, that thing that happened with you and Keisha Cole or something to that effect. And then Angela Yee had to correct her, like, no, it, it wasn't Keisha Cole, you know, it was actually K. Michelle. And then K. Michelle and Lonnie got into it on, on Twitter recently. And I made a video about it. So thank you to The Shade Room for clarifying what happened. I'm going to read to you what K. Michelle said on Twitter via The Shade Room, but let me tell you what The Shade Room had to say about it first. The Shade Room said, hashtag Petty Wop, hashtag K. Michelle Shades, hashtag Lonnie Love for her criticism of how women treat each other on reality TV, looking eyes emojis, hashtag the real. And what K. Michelle said, I'm reading from the bottom up here. The lesson of today class is hypocrites. I'm confused as to how you can get on national TV and bash a woman you've never met and not even a week later speak on girl power. See, I'll admit I'm crazy as shit. But fake has never been my thing. Don't speak on things you aren't really about. Sitting up there like Jesus took a day off. <laughs> People get oh so holy in the time of convenience. See me, I'm just like, fuck you all day. I know who I am and I never fold or switch up. I decided to stay who God made me. Besides the silicone bags. I don't know how to be cookie cutter or politically correct. I know how to be honest damn thank you very much k michelle for letting us know how you feel and she took her tweet the one where she said people get also oh holy in the time of convenience see me i'm just like fuck you all day i know who i am and i never fold a switch she put that on instagram and she said today's mantra ever with a sunflower emoji now sunflowers are her favorite flowers now my favorite flower is k michelle's ass but that's a whole nother <laughs> Ooh, that's a whole nother discussion, my Jesus. Anyways, K. Michelle, don't ever let anybody ruin your pretty. I understand that you're not too happy, not too pleased with what Lonnie Love had to say about you, which I, I didn't hear anything all that crazy in my personal opinion, but, you know, it wasn't said about me. So I understand, you know, a lot of people have come for you over the years, so I understand how you could be maybe sensitive to any sort of criticism at this point because you've been criticized a lot but you you've, you've criticized people a lot as well including making people cry on tv by calling them muppet face so uh, maybe some of the criticism was warranted k michelle now don't get it twisted i'm team pretty girl and i'm on your side pretty girl i'm just saying though you know you have gone in on some people now you never went in on me with my midget in the wheelchair ass, I don't know why you never dissed me. I mean, I sure as hell was trying to get dissed by you because I thought it would be good publicity. But it, it, that shit didn't work. But that's a whole nother story, my Christ. But anyways, K. Michelle, you need to calm down. Sit all that big booty down. Chill out. Your, your fourth album is about to come out. You're killing it in the reality TV world, show after show. You're making all types of money. You're looking damn good while doing it. You, you, you don't ruin your pretty. Don't ever let anybody ruin your pretty, K. Michelle. You're too fine uh, to be fighting, arguing, any of that shit, any of that negative energy. I don't want any of that negative energy ruining all that fine ass, K. Michelle. Anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a K. Michelle fan with a microphone. I don't want her or the booty to uh, fly off the handle. I mean, especially the booty. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channel. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button that's next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. <laughs> I wish it looked like K. Michelle and all that booty, but it looks like a bell. Click that button. You'll be sent notifications. You'll be alerted when new videos get posted.